I woke in the night and found myself on this mountain top. Not just any old mountain top, but a precipitous ridge. Either side of the mountain is clothed in slippery shale and there is a wind that blows at the top. I wonder if you ever find yourself there. I'm walking on this narrow, narrow edge and the winds of fear are pulling my hair and tugging my limbs and my feet are slipping in worry. And down at the bottom of each side of this mountain, there are labyrinthine arms that reach up to drag me down. If I slip into this labyrinth, I will be lost in the circles, the spirals, the never ending, repeated fear and worry. Am I good enough? Am I doing it okay? Have I made some terrible choices? Will I be able to continue? It's 3 a.m. I'm on my own and I'm slipping on this ridge. Are you ever there? But then I find this golden gossamer thread. It's like Ariadne's thread to Theseus in the Minotaur's labyrinth. And this thread is so fine, I can barely touch it, but it's called thank you. And I touch it and I breathe, thank you. Thank you for now being exactly as it is. And as I move my feet along this precipitous ridge, the thread gets a little bit thicker and a little bit brighter and a little bit stronger. And I hold on tight and I keep moving forwards. Thank you for now. Thank you for now. Thank you for now. And my feet are still slipping and the labyrinthine arms are still calling to me. And any moment I lose my attention, I'm gone. I'm down that slope and I'm in the labyrinth. Lost to fear and worry again. So I keep, <laughs> I keep holding on to this golden rope and it is a rope now. And I breathe, thank you for now. Thank you for now. And the rope becomes a harness and it's holding me. And it sinks into my flesh and it becomes me. Thank you for now. Thank you for now. And eventually the sun starts to come up. And this precipitous, slippery, windy ridge of terror, where my heart has been in my mouth and my guts empty has become this incredible transformational journey through thank you for now. Thank you for now being exactly as it is. And this time of terror turns into a transformation where by the end of the journey, I feel so thankful for it. because I know this thread more and more intimately and I rely on it more and more deeply. And every time it holds me. I wonder if you are ever there, alone on that ridge at 3 a.m. If you are, look for the golden thread. You'll find it, it's always there. <laughs>